In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically resize columns in Google Sheets to fit the longest string of text in that column. And there's actually a really easy way to do this. And so let's go over a really simple example first. Here, as you can see in column A, we have a list of names and phone numbers. And this text is so long that it's extending beyond column A and going into column B and even column C a little bit. And so if we wanted, we could resize the column manually by hovering the cursor in between columns A and B until the set of double arrows appear. And then we would click and drag your mouse to the right to expand column A. But that's the manual way of doing it. And so I'm going to undo what I just did and show you the automatic way of doing this. And that's to double click your mouse when the double set of arrows appear. So again, I'm hovering my cursor in between columns A and B until the double set of arrows appear. And then I'm going to double click my mouse. And now I've just told Google Sheets to automatically expand column A to fit the widest or the longest text in column A. And as you can see, it's done that perfectly. And it's expanded column A just beyond the longest string of text here in row 17. Automatically resizing data like this in Google Sheets is called a couple of different things. Some people refer to this as auto fit, and it's also referred to officially in Google Sheets as fit to data. Now, if you want, there's actually another way to use auto fit or fit to data, which is by right clicking on the column that you want to resize, click resize column, and then select fit to data, and then click OK. So now let's go over an example of doing this with multiple columns. As you can see, some of the headers in row one cannot be seen because the text is too long to fit inside the cell. And this same thing is happening in columns B and E. We can't see the full address in column B, and we definitely can't see the notes in column E. So what I'm going to do is select multiple columns at once and do the same trick that I showed you in the last example. So what I'm going to do is select columns A through F. And how I did that is I clicked in the middle of column A, held my click, and dragged my cursor over to column F and released my click to select multiple columns at once. Now, I can hover my cursor between any of these selected columns and once the double set of arrows appears, I double click my cursor and it automatically expands each column to fit the widest or the longest piece of text in each of the columns. And as you can see, it shrunk column A because it didn't need to be as wide as it was. It expanded column B so that we can see the address and it expanded column E even more so that we can see the notes that have been written. So again, automatically fitting columns doesn't always mean that the columns are being expanded. In this case, we're going to use auto fit to automatically shrink columns A through H so that these trial times are more compacted and easier to see. So I'm going to select columns A through H. I'm going to hover my cursor between any of the selected columns. And when the double set of arrows appears, I'm going to double click my mouse. And now Google Sheets has shrunk columns A through H so that the columns fit the width of the text and the numbers. So if you want to learn more about automatically resizing columns in Google Sheets, I've linked the article for this video below.